Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achar Kirk. Hello. We are looking at Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness official trailer from Marvel Entertainment. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Otherwise, madness will find you. Okay, here we go. Every night, I dream the same dream. The nightmare yeah. begins. I did what I had to do. Yes, you did. To protect our world. You cannot control everything, Strange. Yeah, hubris. You opened the doorway between universes. God damn. And we wow. don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. Who is that? <laughs> Things just got out of hand. You break the rules. Look out! To become a hero. I become the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. No, it doesn't, Wanda. Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, man. Happy birthday weekend to me. I, I am literally <laughs> drooling. I am literally drooling about the, how crazy this looks. You know, one of the things that I loved about Doctor Strange when I first watched it, you know, years ago when it came out, yeah. was just how trippy it was. It was just like mind bending with all the visuals that it was doing. And in the multiverse of man is certainly taking that to a whole other level here. I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, so far, like the teaser that we saw we saw a little bit, but not that much. I feel like this trailer is really leaning into that whole, like losing your mind and everything just kind of being mind bending and trippy. Like there's so much here. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. The truth of the matter is when I watched Spider-Man No Way Home, as much as I enjoyed the movie, when the Multiverse of Madness teaser came up at the end, I'm like, that, that was it for me. Like, and I've, <laughs> I've been on record saying that before. I mean, like that was what made this whole thing worth it. As much as that movie was dope, as much as it was cool to have that Trinity back together, or or for the first time, uh, Multiverse of Madness is what did it for me. I didn't care about seeing any other, you know, uh, post credit scene for Spider-Man. Like, I was like, yes, this is what I have been looking forward to. And, you know, they gave us the tease with a bunch of stuff in there. It was like little drops and little nuggets here and there. Yeah. And here you're seeing, like, more of how this is... I still don't exactly know what is happening in this movie. Well, uh, I thought that it was interesting that in this trailer now, they're really showing us, like, okay, Wanda Maximoff is the bad guy, but I still don't fully believe it. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, okay, I see what you're trying to do here, trailer. And yeah, maybe there's some elements of that. But I think what Marvel does really well is, you know, as it has done in the past, it's kind of show people that we call villains as being, you know, multifaceted and having their reasons. But also, like, we love Wanda. Yeah. So there's... Yes, I can see why maybe she made some bad decisions or whatever. I thought it was interesting what she said to Doctor Strange. Like, you know, if if you do it, then you're saving the world. But if I do it, then I'm the villain. That's not fair, is it? And so I feel like that's going to be, you know, a, a kind of like big deal in, I, I, in the movie. I'm glad you caught that because I didn't even hear it. I was so captivated by the visuals. <laughs> I was just like, just overload, you know, of like yeah. how, how it was just mesmerizing. And they were doing things in there that you kind of saw. I felt like you saw a 
similar visual in Avengers Infinity War with Thanos like kind of taking people apart with his yeah, glove. Yeah, yeah, like the part when they turned into like little squares. Cute yeah. Things. yeah, yeah. I saw that part, but the stuff at the end where you saw, I guess, the evil Strange, uh, Strange Supreme. I thought that was Strange. Was Supreme. that Strange or Supreme? Wanda? It was either I'm, Wanda. I'm sure. It was either Wanda or Strange Supreme going full blown like with the many arms. Uh, yeah, with the many arms. I couldn't yeah. tell which one was. I wasn't sure who that was, but it looked so cool. Uh, it was like, a, what's the super like heightened version of, of a Goku in, in the latest Dragon Ball Z? Ultra Instinct. Ultra in yeah, it's like Ultra Instinct, either Wanda or Strange Supreme. Because that, <laughs> that shit, you know that's going to be something towards the end of the film. Like, it's got to be. That has to be this adversary that, that you know, our Doctor Strange is up against in this in this adventure here. Well, it seems like there was a lot. Like, And you, you got a good look at, I forget what the name of the, the monster is with the many arms and then the big eyeball. Um, but, you know, you got, you got a better look at that when Whereas in the teaser, we were kind of like, oh, you know, or at least people smarter than us, like mm -hmm. Eric Voss told us, you know, oh, this is who it is. And and now you're like, oh, OK, we, we got to see that yeah. in its full form, yeah. you know. So doing what we do and knowing the people that we know, uh, I'm not going to be specific at all. But at some point, Achar and I got to see some stuff from this movie. And I finally got a glimpse yeah. of it here. I cannot yeah. be specific about what, because then I will out the person who showed me the thing. But all I can tell you is, oh my God, I just got so pumped when I saw the thing that yeah. I saw before. I'm yeah. like, yes, I cannot wait to see this fully realized. It's going to be banana you, town. You, you guys have yeah. no idea what's in store in this. Like, <laughs> this isn't even cracking the surface of what's ahead. That's what's nuts to me. I'm like, how are they going to work this in in a way that makes sense for the audience? Because I haven't seen really, other than like the concept itself, like I haven't seen any clues indicating the thing that we got a glimpse at. I'm just like, whoa, I cannot wait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, like, it, it was cool to, to see that in the trailer and be like, oh, okay, yeah, for sure, that thing is happening now. And like, it's just so exciting. And yeah. like, it, I'm speechless. I'm just, speechless. Yeah, it's just it, it just looks so cool. Yeah, well, you know, I am not a, a Marvel shill or a DC shill or anything like that, but I am definitely a Doctor Strange shill. Like, I, they could pay me whatever, and I'll say whatever. I love Doctor Strange. I love the character. I love the just the world building that they're doing. And what's interesting is, you know, the people have criticized the ending of Spider-Man No Way Home, but it's really built upon that in order to get to this next chapter, which is Banana Town. Yeah, I mean, everything is building upon everything. You know, we, we've been waiting for this moment with, you know, WandaVision, with Loki, yeah. with What If, with No Way Home, and now we have this. So everything's just kind of building on, on building blocks. And so this really has the opportunity to kind of just break it open and be yeah. like, all right, how creative can we be with the multiverse? And yeah. how much madness can we put in here? Because yeah. It's like, it's interesting too, because like in the beginning when he's talking about, you know, having a dream and, and it, like it being kind of nightmarish, yeah. I've been listening to the audiobook of The Sandman and I immediately thought of that, like just kind of the weird trippy stuff that can happen to us in dreams and just kind of how just surreal yeah. and, and strange it can be. So I'm, I'm really hoping that they're going to tap into that. How Doctor Strange it could be. Exactly. So it's, it's at this point where I have to force myself to taper my expectations just a little bit because I remember the last time I was this excited was Matrix Reloaded and I was like, okay, so the first one was amazing. <laughs> the second one's going to be even more amazing. And then you get there, you're like, oh, shit. And so I'm going to try to taper my expectations a little bit because I don't want to like blow my wad before I even get in the theater and then I'm just disappointed. But man, like they are making this look fan freaking tastic i just i'm so pumped for this and i cannot wait to to watch it and, and i can't wait to know. see the new rock stars breakdown because i'm sure there's sure. gonna be a lot that like we didn't fully understand yeah. but it looks so cool you guys thanks so much for hanging out with us hopefully you enjoyed that reaction and discussion i would love to hear your thoughts and comments in the in the comments below I mean, if you caught anything that we didn't pick up on please you know educate us in the comments below subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon all notifications and pretty please vote this up to let youtube know you enjoyed what you watched if you did i am jabby kawai this is acharya kirk peace out